the James Webb Telescope has basically announced the clearest image of Proxima b in history, uncovering stunning bits of knowledge concerning this conceivably habitable exoplanet. Join us as we set out on an endeavor through space to uncover the secrets of Proxima b and find out whether it might be the next Earth. We ought to take off into the gigantic expanse of space. A bewildering planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't just any ordinary rock. It's Earth's cousin, Proxima b viewed as a mere 42 light-years from us. It is covered in mystery and wonders. Could it at some point be another Earth with oceans and life spilling over on its surface? But wait, there's more. Proxima b isn't alone in its orbit around the red dwarf star. It has a singular companion, Proxima Centauri c, which can express out loud whatever other secrets the star system holds. Perhaps there's another companion that we still haven't discovered. The mystery doesn't stop there. Proxima Centauri b gets roughly the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this really mean that there's water on its surface? Perhaps life, as we experience it, exists beyond our solar system. We see a completely different universe of exoplanets. Planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. With 200 billion stars in the universe, the possibilities of exoplanets are endless. Some exoplanets even wander capriciously, untethered to any star, like radical pilgrims in space. Among them all, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a truly striking and bewildering planet with a year that lasts just 112 Earth days and a distance from its star that is many times closer than Earth's distance to the Sun very likely. One side of the planet is continually bathed in light while the opposite side remains in perpetual darkness. Now, we ought to examine Proxima Centauri, the star that Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. This system includes Rigel Centaurus, also called Alpha Centauri A and B together. These stars make the closest star system to our own solar system. The two stars, Rigel Centaurus and Alpha Centauri, form the binary known as Alpha Centauri A and B. These G and K type stars appear as one star in the constellation Centaurus and are the third brightest stars in our night sky with apparent magnitude of minus 0.27. Proxima Centauri, also called Alpha Centauri c, is a red dwarf or M star found 21 light-years from the other two stars, a distance that is many times that between Earth and the Sun. It is indeed the closest star to us. Proxima Centauri means the closest star of Centaurus in Latin. Discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn, Proxima Centauri remains invisible to the naked eye because of its apparent size of 11.13, which is far beyond the maximum human limitation of 6.5. However, don't let that fool you. Proxima Centauri is still a star worth wondering about. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most successful in terms of energy production. They may not produce much energy, yet the internal convection process at their core keeps them shining for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. However, the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri is still being debated. For one thing, it's a flare star, which means it has regular and erratic fluctuations. As a low mass star, the habitable zone would be closer to it than that of the Sun, projected to be somewhere between 0.23 and 54 cents. However, it's not as habitable as it seems. Proxima b probably will not have a stable environment, which is essential for maintaining conditions suitable for liquid water on its surface. Without it, living organisms would be vulnerable to harmful space weather, making life nearly impossible. So, while Proxima b could seem Earth-like on the surface, it is far from being able to support life. Many still have doubts, as there are different factors that render it uninhabitable. The journey to uncover the truth about Proxima b continues. Some still hold hope. One instrument that has garnered the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Telescope. After various delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and will assist us in determining whether there is life on Proxima b. As with everything in science, things are rarely as clear as they seem. A huge number of changes were required to ensure that the James Webb Telescope produced accurate images. As Abby Bend, a speculative physicist at Harvard, explains if a planet like Proxima b can absorb light from its star, 
it can also emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect infrared light. It can take images of this light on the surface of the planet and search for patterns that could confirm whether the planet has water or an atmosphere. But what if the planet has an atmosphere that isn't conducive to life? The presence of an atmosphere doesn't guarantee the presence of life, warns Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick atmosphere that is several times denser than that of Earth's, leading to extreme heat that would make it impossible for life to exist. The mission to unravel the mysteries of Proxima b isn't without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are other factors to consider. With costs mounting, astronomers are hard-pressed to figure out how to study planets like Proxima b. The stakes are high, but the rewards are even greater. The chance for a glimpse into the unknown, to uncover the secrets of a distant planet that holds the promise of life, is one that any serious scientist would take. Going to Proxima b, assuming hypothetically the exoplanet is hospitable, could we even get there? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it so exciting, since it's almost like exploring our vast backyard. What's even more fascinating is that it's roughly the same size as Earth. Its location in the habitable zone means it could indeed have conditions for life. For us, Proxima b's proximity also makes it a viable target for our quest for life beyond Earth. With it being just around the corner, well, to some extent, it's a great possibility for interstellar missions. Imagine the opportunity of exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. However, we can't go there yet. It's certainly on the radar for future missions as technology makes it more accessible. It's one of the most intriguing possibilities in the field of space exploration. However, it is no easy feat to get there. It would take 75,000 years for spacecraft like Explorer 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. Nonetheless, a plan has been proposed. Solar sails. These ultra-thin sails could be used to propel a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system, including Proxima. This technology utilizes solar pressure to keep the craft on course, eliminating the issue of running out of fuel. With expected speeds of 10% to 20% of the speed of light, the journey to the Alpha Centauri system could be reduced to just 20 years. The discovery of Proxima b has reignited humanity's interest in space exploration. It has provided us with a newfound sense of hope that we are not alone in the universe. The James Webb Telescope is a marvel of modern technology that has the capability to take us all the way back to the very beginning of the universe, 13.7 billion years ago. This is the carefully observed mystery. The farther away an object is, the longer it takes for light to travel from it to us. This means that the James Webb Telescope can actually see objects in the universe that are farther away than any other telescope before it. In addition, it can observe these objects in longer wavelengths of infrared light, allowing us to see far more distant stars with greater clarity than ever before. And guess what? This incredible technology can shed light on the possibility of life on other planets like Proxima b. However, as with anything so remarkable, there are some limitations. For instance, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee the presence of life. Proxima b could be like Venus with a thick, hot atmosphere that is uninhabitable. And get this, the James Webb Telescope has the ability to detect such light if it reaches a brightness of just 5% of the planet's dayside. Now, 5% may not seem like much, but when you're dealing with a star that is several times dimmer than our own sun, it's actually a significant amount. If Proxima b has an intelligent civilization illuminating its surface, they might be using bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the dayside of the planet to the nightside. How cool is that? There are countless exoplanets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes, with some being massive gas giants, while others resemble our own Earth. One type of exoplanet that has caught the attention of space scientists is the gas giant. These planets are similar in composition to Jupiter and Saturn, yet are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been dubbed Super Jupiters, overshadowing even the largest planet in our solar system. But that's not all. There are also hot Jupiters, which are gas giants that orbit incredibly close to their host star. They exist in a scorching world with temperatures that could melt metal. Imagine being able to observe such a planet up close, with its raging storms and searing heat, 
In addition to gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which have sizes similar to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are hot Neptunes and mini Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets are often shrouded in mystery, making their atmospheres difficult to study from afar. And we should not forget the terrestrial exoplanets, which are the ones that resemble our own planet Earth. These planets come in various sizes, ranging from smaller than our world to double its size. There are even super-Earths which have masses greater than twice that of our planet but are lighter than Neptune. One of the most interesting exoplanets recently discovered is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. This planet is classified as a super-Earth with a rocky mass of seven Earth masses. Despite being close to its host star, it is still too far away to be considered within the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b isn't alone. It has a companion, Proxima c, which is significantly farther away from the star. This planet has an orbital period of around five Earth years and was discovered in 2020 using pre-recovery Hubble data. What's even more intriguing about Proxima c is that it appears to be a very bright world, possibly due to the presence of a ring system. There are more discoveries to be made in the Proxima Centauri system. In 2019, astronomers identified a change in the star's radial velocity, which could be the result of another planetary companion. If confirmed, this planet will be known as Proxima Centauri d and will be roughly the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine a world where the night sky is filled with stars, as well as countless other planets, each with its unique composition and orbit. The universe is full of surprises, and exoplanets are just one of them. With new discoveries being made constantly, it's an exciting time to be an astronomer. While we don't yet have an exact count of exoplanets, we do know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. However, exoplanets are not easily detectable, and it requires advanced technology and powerful telescopes to identify them. These planets are often obscured by the glare of their host stars, making them challenging to study. But with advancements in technology, direct imaging of exoplanets is now possible. For an exoplanet to be directly imaged, it must be large enough to be seen by the telescope, far enough from its host star not to be obscured by its glare, and young enough to be hot and visible from Earth. These requirements limit the number of exoplanets that can be directly imaged. However, they provide a fascinating glimpse into the characteristics and composition of these distant worlds. Exoplanets are typically found through the effects they have on their host stars. The gravitational influence of an exoplanet can cause its host star to wobble, and this radial velocity can be detected by astronomers. The Kepler Space Telescope used the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star's light when an exoplanet passes in front of it. This method has provided significant data about exoplanets, including their size, distance, and temperature. Here are a couple of fun facts. Did you know that more than 22% of stars like the Sun have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones? Or that TRAPPIST-1 is home to seven rocky exoplanets with water on their surfaces? Exoplanets, like the planets in our solar system, can also have natural satellites known as exomoons. With over 4,000 exoplanets discovered so far, we know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. Hot Jupiters, with their mass and rapid rotation, are the easiest to find, yet there are countless other exoplanets waiting to be discovered. NASA's James Webb Telescope is unlocking the secrets of the universe, one revelation at a time. The telescope has been gathering data and capturing stunning images of the universe, revealing previously unknown wonders. Recently, it made history with a groundbreaking discovery that will change our understanding of the universe forever. However, that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy capturing amazing images and collecting data about the universe. The stunning photos of stars, worlds, and dust clouds swirling and colliding with each other are truly mesmerizing. And the discoveries keep coming. A global team of space researchers used the telescope to gather a detailed inventory of the coldest ice ever recorded in a molecular cloud. They identified frozen forms of various molecules, including carbon disulfide, ammonia, and methane, as well as some common organic compounds like methanol and carbon dioxide, like water. 
This comprehensive inventory provides valuable information about the formation of future planets and stars.